Take James here. In this video, I will show you guys how to get all PS Vita games, including the Vita games, which are version 3.69, working on any PS Vita with custom firmware installed using the ReFood plugin. So right now, I've got this game installed. It's called Dreamwalker, and it basically says I have to have firmware version 3.69 in order to play this. So as you can see, I've got 3.68, and it says here your firmware is too old to play this game. You must install the compatibility pack. Now, now we don't actually have to install the packs anymore we can use this plugin and it will let us play any game so I've got this game installed so I'm just going to close and I'm just going to close out of this so to get a plugin we will actually be using auto plugin I will be showing you guys how to get that on the PS Vita anyway so you just guys want to go ahead open up Vita shell just tap on start wait for Vita shell to load when it does press select connect your PS Vita to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next so once your PS Vita is connected to your PC, I will leave this web page in the description for ReFood so you guys can learn more about it. Um, as I said before, it basically means you can play 3.69 games on any PS Vita without having to update the firmware. So it basically tells you how to install it and stuff like that. We will be using Auto Plugin, or I will be in this video. You can install it um, with like the files if you wish to, but Auto Plugin is just so easy. We might as well use that. So link to Auto Plugin will also be in the description this was updated 16 hours ago so it could include this plugin as well so all we want to do is just click on auto plugin.vpk and that will begin downloading the vpk file for us to install so once that has finished downloading we want to head over to our downloads folder and we will be able to find the auto plugin.vpk in here so what we are going to do is just drag and drop this onto the root of our ps vita wait for it to copy across we can now go back onto our ps vita install it and i will show you guys what to do next Okay, so back on your PS Vita, let's just install the Auto Plugin VPK. I have already got this installed, but we're just going to press X on it. Press X for yes. Press X again, and then it will start installing. So just give it a couple of seconds to install. Okay, so once it's installed, let's just press circle to go back to the main menu and close out of Vita Shell. So what I want to show you guys is the game not working. So here it is, Dreamwalker. If I tap on it and then just tap on start to try and play it, it's going to come up saying an error has occurred, C167036. So that is a bit annoying. We're just going to have to tap OK and it's going to close out. So let's get the plugin and let's get this game working. So what we're going to do, scroll up, let's go ahead and just open up auto plugin right now. We want to press X on install plugins. Now you must have these two plugins installed first, or it's up to you for the second one. You must have NO NPDRM plugin. This works for all games. Um, and this is the PlayStation Mobile version, so not everyone wants this, but you can get it if you want. These must be installed first before you install this, otherwise it probably won't work. Also, you can change between your UXO and URO depending on where your tie folder and your plugins are mine are on the uro so i'm going to keep it on that and we're going to scroll all the way down and we want to find the plugin um so it should be somewhere in here and um, some of the files must be on the uro so i would recommend trying it on that and if it still doesn't work then install it again but next time switch over to the uxo using um left or right and then you can install it again but we're going to install it on the uro so we're going to press x on it it's going to say please wait and now it's going to say it has been installed so once it has been installed we simply need to press the start button it's going to say your ps vita will restart press x for ok now we're just going to wait for this to restart now once it restarts obviously we need to run our custom firmware so our hncore update let's just tap on start tap on yes You can exit straight away. I have QCore, so it's just going to close automatically. And now we can test out our game. So here it is, Dreamwalker. Let's tap on it. Let's tap on Start. As you can see, we do not have the error. And our game should work perfectly fine, even though we're not actually on the correct firmware version for it. So I have no idea um, what this game is. I just got it because it was a 3.69 version game. There aren't many 3.69 version games. Um, I think there was only about 12 on there or something like that. So there really isn't much at all. But there are a few coming out. So if you guys want to install this plugin, just so you know, um, you can play all of them, then it's probably a pretty good idea. 
Um, this does work on 3.60 and then this is the best on 3.60 because obviously you can play pretty much all games without having to worry, um, including the 3.65 and 3.68 games. So yeah, this game does actually look really bad. But that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.